Marcus Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. This is Matt NFL 21 on EA Sports. This one taken just inside the 10. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. We get our first look now at Carson Wentz in this Philadelphia Eagle offense. Not only does he look the part, he plays it as well. Tall, prototypical looking pocket passer with better athletic ability than what people think. Gets outside of the pocket and makes big plays downfield. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Philadelphia. From the gun, it's Wentz. And this is going to be incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. It's a second down run with Sanders. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. The Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Shotgun now for Wentz. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Pass the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Wentz finding Elshon Jeffrey. And the Eagles have taken the early lead. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. And it's a pretty good return here. He'll get this up to the 29. Over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Second and 10. Throwing again, Haskins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. That one into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. On fourth down, here's the option. And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and that will force a turnover on downs. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Cameron Hayward getting upfield to make the stop. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Cameron Hayward, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Third and long. From midfield, here's Wentz. And Jeffrey's got it. 
And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 19-yard line. On second and 11 now. Wentz caught by the tight end Ertz. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Throwing now is Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Travis Fulgham there to make the grab. And the Eagles add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Taken in at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into some eagle pressure. Too much this time. Down he goes. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Steelers nothing. Throwing on second and long. Haskins throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target, and it's third down. Sets up a third down. And From the gun, it's Haskins. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. But I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Playing in snow brings so many other factors into the game. It's not just trying to take care of the ball. And we just saw The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Here's Haskins to throw. Flush to his right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Haskins. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Here's Haskins out of the gun. Move the chains. A gain of seven on third down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got it complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. 
This will be caught at about the five. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. From eight yards out. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. As they began this last drive, things weren't exactly looking up for this offense. But after what they just did, putting the ball in the end zone, that took them away from the brink of possibly being knocked out of this game. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And that'll make our score 14-7. to Fielded right around the 8. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow it. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. 158 left to play until we hit halftime. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Three yards on the punt, seven-yard return, and the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and ten at the 39-yard line. Operating from the gun, Haskins flushed out right. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Completion here to Claypool. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. He'll buy some time right. Able to hit his target, Claypool. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 30. Again, it's Haskins. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag. In the backfield, this might be a roughing call. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. And he's going to look that one in one-handed. What a catch for the touchdown. Touchdown, Steelers. I feel like I'm back in school. What was that book, you know? It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. This has been a tale of two quarters so far. They trailed 14 to nothing after one. How about the rally we've been watching? Yeah, a couple of touchdowns. P.A.T. here to tie it up. This is a good ball game all of a sudden. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From the six. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. On the return, the Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 24. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. So thanks to the late... You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Jake Elliott. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. On first down, it's Haskins. Blitz coming, and down he goes. 
Now, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. They'll run here with counter. Only two yards on the carry. That's going to set up a third and long, third and 15 to be exact. From the gun, Haskins. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Hey, pick it up, defense. Let's go. Here we go on fourth down, Haskins. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six. Haskins back to the air. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. Third down here. Third down and six yards to go. Throwing again, here's Haskins. Going top shelf for Smith-Schuster. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That gain on third down, good for 28. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. A throw over the middle, taken in. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Jalen Samuels, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Steelers have taken the lead. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Their own 33-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. He was covered by Steven Nelson. Wentz will try again on second down. Jeffrey with a catch left side. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And it'll give them a fresh set of downs. First down, Eagles. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Sanders has it over the middle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Complete to Miles Sanders. And I think that's a pretty good illustration of why they try to get the football into his hands out of the backfield. That was something else. On first down, Sanders. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Cameron Hayward in on the tackle. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. Another run for Sanders. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Back now in Pittsburgh. The Eagles on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and nine. Working from the gun, Wentz. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. 
And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Wentz now on first down. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. That's complete right around the eight. And he takes it inside the 10 to the eight before he's out of bounds. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as some good running there gets him down to about the two-yard line. Knock it on the door. And give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. They'll try to run with Sanders. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Steelers take over first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Brought down by Nate Gary. Escaping the pressure right. His throw incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And it's third down. Juju Smith-Schuster. Looking to throw, Haskins. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and 10 is Connor. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. And hitting Juju on the slant, and he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. At the yard line. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Connor on first down, working his way forward for about four yards. Second down coming up. Throwing now is Haskins. And this is going to be intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own 20-yard line. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I would say these defensive backs need a little bit of help from their pass rush. They were able to force the incompletion. But I'll guarantee they're going to go back to the huddle and say, hey, guys, can you get to them a little bit quicker? I don't know how long we can continue to cover these guys downfield. Wentz with a throw that's caught by Rager. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 38-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. 
Sanders here as they run out of the gun. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Another run here with Sanders. Room here to run. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. At their own 24-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one's not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> you're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all afternoon. You feeling their pain? They finally got one. Yes, they did. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And that is going to seal this victory as time runs out. But we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job to 